All right, so uh, I recently got this uh, transparent case for my original Xbox. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that. Um, see how that works out. Um, I think it's pretty much, I mean, ready to go because it's only the top piece and uh, the front face plate. Uh, we do have to change out the uh, top of the Thompson drive, so we'll do that too. Uh, I don't need any of that right now. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is... Um, hmm. I guess we'll take out the uh, drives and... Because we'll be needing to take apart the CD-ROM anyways. And then we'll get the front face plate off. Ugh, come on now. And uh, the um, thing to make the CD-ROM transparent is pretty awesome. Because I would like to see the uh, disc spinning around in there, but... The unfortunate thing is that it only works with the Thompson drive, the drive that doesn't work and that apparently is the shittiest one you can get. And so I was going to replace it with something better. Unfortunately, I will have to just buy a new Xbox because if I wanted to buy just the drive, they're, I mean, literally between like 50 and $70. And I can get a, you know, another used Xbox for 10 to 15. So I'll try to find a parts unit and go from there. Let's go ahead and get the uh, front face plate off first. I think we need to take the buttons out too, or at least the circuit board attached to it. So let's get the power supply connector disconnected so we can get to the front face plate um, uh, wiring. Let's see, how does this one attach? Okay, it looks like there's just some, like, three little clips um, along the inner edge. So it's probably the same kind of setup on the original. Let's see. Actually, hmm. I guess I'm going to go ahead and take out these screws in here for these controller ports. If I can find the right... Screwdriver. Stand by. Oh wait, I think that's this one. Okay. So I am going to just take out um, four more screws right here along this edge. Never taken the faceplate off of one of these, so I'm Kind of new to this. And just as a fun challenge, I try not to look up too much information because it's just like a spoiler to a movie. It's like, I want to take this thing apart and do it in my own, my own way, you know? I mean, every once in a while you get to a point where you need to look something up. Come on, you piece of garbage. All right, there's one. And maybe I should use the right screwdriver to three. There's the third one and fourth one. Oh man. Dropped another one. There we go. Okay, so what exactly did that do for me? Big bunch of nothing. All right, I'm going to just pop this snap here on the front. See if I can see any other snaps. Negative. like a kind of a let's see what we can see in there 
Yeah, so these little, um, on the sides, there's kind of a push-in thing that I think that you can just push it, but I'm not having any luck with that. So I'm gonna stick a screw, flat screwdriver down in there. Definitely, huh. Well, there's another snap for this front thing right here. I know I'm kind of in the way, but I need to make sure I do not break this because hmm. Okay. Get this cord out of the way. If there's any screws on the bottom it doesn't look like it so yeah so it looks like it should just be one of those things where you push off the sides and that disengages the snaps and then you should be good to go but okay just a little bit more difficult than i thought down at the bottom you kind of have to give it some pressure struggling but there's somebody watching that's being like you're a tool do it right you idiot i'm trying i promise okay so this side seems to have let go but this side is being a pain in the ass The sound of that. There we go. Let's see if I can get this thing off again because maybe there's a screw underneath it or something. Okay, so there is like a little snap right in here. There's probably more, yes. I can see them on either side. There we go. Okay, finally got that off. I think I'm gonna have to take this out for the buttons. But yeah, so none of the snaps broke. I feel pretty good about that. Hopefully the uh, transparent plastic one is equally as good. Okay, let's try to get that little circuit board out. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so it looks like there's just a little tab down here that you need to push down. So right in here. And that should make the bottom be able to come out. Maybe I have to, maybe I need to get this plate all the way off. There was a snap right there. And then there's another one right there and they're both off. But, oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, I just, Pull that bottom one out and you're good. Okay, let's see. So now I've pushed this little 
thing. Let me get a screwdriver so I can push it down a little farther. There we go. Okay. So yeah, so it looks like it just should just pop out now, but it is not. Oh, the circuit board is just not the buttons. Okay, so we got that. All right. Nice. All right, and then we can kind of see how the buttons are laid out on the transparent one. So we'll go ahead and I guess get that set up on the new one. Okay, so we need the buttons first. Let's put those in like this. Okay, so we got the eject and power button inserted into their little spots. And this needs to go up into these two slots first. And then pushed I'm kind of worried I don't want to oh yep there goes one of the snaps well it works kind of unfortunate that that broke off I mean that's acrylic so it's just one of the little legs that hold the bottom of the PCB in. I could perhaps glue that, but I don't think it's too imperative. It's pretty solid in there, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave that. Alright, cool. Well that looks good. We'll keep that little plastic part just in case I do decide to glue it later. Um I am definitely not gonna be done with this Xbox anytime soon. I plan on doing whatever I can to it just for kind of fun. All right, I guess the next thing we should do is probably the CD-ROM. See if we can figure out how the... Um, oh, yeah, we got a new front thing for the CD-ROM, so that'll be cool. It doesn't say Xbox on it, but pretty cool, I guess. Um, let's see, where is my... Of course, I can't find my paper clip again. It's the one tool I lose the most. Oh well, I think I can maybe get this one in there. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, well, I'll just eject it later. Let's get the uh, little Phillips screwdrivers out of there. Or screws. Using a screwdriver. So we've got this one and this one. Take the top off and then we should be able to figure out how to attach this new piece on. Okay, push these in. And I still have a disc in there, so that's wonderful. Okay, so... Okay, so it pretty much just lays down like that. I don't understand this bit, but I don't know if you're supposed to like take this thing out or this seems like a pain in the ass. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't come with any other pieces. That would seem pretty difficult to try to get this spindle thing out to put in here unless it comes out through the top but I don't really want to remove this sticker I guess we have to see if it's possible oh cool looks like it is oops Okay, so yeah, that goes in there like that, and then this thing goes down in here. 
Let's take it out and snap it properly. Make sure it's down in there. I wonder if it goes in like this to better push it down. There's no way it'll reach even if I got the snaps in. Okay, so it has to go this way. I feel like one of these snaps is going to break too. And it kind of just sits in there just like it did on the original metal piece, so. All right, so yeah. Yeah, maybe by doing this, it'll just work for some magic reason. All right, let's put this back in. Oh, wait, let's, uh, before we do that, I'm going to try to... Uh, I can't really eject it. Just pop that off. Pop this one on. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I really dig that piece on there. It doesn't really add too much to the aesthetic, although when it's in here, it'll look a little better. All right. Okay, let's do this. Get that put back on. Remember, uh, with this kind of plastic, you definitely don't want to over tighten anything. I mean, as you've already seen, I cracked a piece of plastic just by pushing the PCB in, kind of as you're supposed to. I mean, th these are these little wedges. They're angled so that it can only go one way and they're meant to be pushed down to, you know, release the PCB. But I doubt you could remove that PCB without breaking the other one. All right. So there's the optical drive. Let's get that put back in there. There we go. Okay, cool. I wonder if we're going to put this uh, metal piece back on there. I don't know if if that'll look good on there, I think I'll just leave it off. Since we're getting rid of the whole top parts, um, you know, uh, sh heat shielding. I guess we have to keep all the rest of the heat shielding and everything underneath it, so it's gonna pretty much look like this. Okay, let's, uh, what I'm going to do now is well, I'm going to clean up some of this mess first, but I'm going to put these screws back in that obviously had no reason to come out. Uh, they're probably for taking out the controller ports, but since I'm not doing anything with that right now, we'll just leave them. I think that when I uh, do some sort of LED mod on this, um, I'll probably put lights inside the uh, uh, controller ports as well, I guess. I don't know. All right. We'll have to see. We'll just have to see. I don't know where any of the voltage goes, or where, I think these are just basically USB with a different shape, so should be pretty easy to get some a five volt um, power cable run off that, or we can probably just pull it straight off of the power supply somewhere. Okay, so there's that. Not too shabby. All right, let's get the, uh, uh, I guess we'll put this on first. Um, so all we have to do is make sure we route that back through the same hole. And uh, put these tabs through their corresponding holes and hope nothing cracks when we push it on. Yep, there goes a piece of plastic. <clears throat> Just a little teeny tiny fleck. I don't know where it came from. I don't see 
anything missing, so good enough for me. Yeah, so I guess the uh, you know reviews were correct that this thing is some brittle ass plastic. Power and uh, eject seem to be working. Let's go ahead and get the CD-ROM goes in next. Oh, actually, I guess we need the cable first. All right, make sure we get that oriented properly. Okay. And let's get that set in there. Actually, let's put the cables in it first. Okay, so there's that. Set it down on its... Oh, wait, let's get the power supply plugged back in and the... Uh... Yeah, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. We need the front panel plugged back in. And the power supply. All right, so that should be good to go. Now we can set this down in there. There we go. Seems to have seated properly. Now the hard drive. I think one of the next things I'm going to do is probably upgrade the hard drive. Well, I guess we got to mod it first, but next hardware change I think will be a larger hard drive. There we go. Almost seated. Perfect. Okay. Power goes in. We'll route this for now, even though it'll probably be temporary, just so we can get the top cover on. See what it looks like. All right, and then the IDE cable. I don't know if I like this IDE sitting over the CD-ROM. I guess it's fine. All right, let's see what this looks like. We're obviously going to have to try to figure out how to get the badge off of the old one so we can stick that there. Okay, it's definitely more stiff to put on than the original. The original was kind of all loose on there. Having trouble getting the back part on. All the posts are going into the holes, or they're at least aligned with them. I'm not sure what's Holding this up. There's no snaps. The only thing that holds this on to the bottom part of the case is the screws, which we're not going to put in right now. So we're going to test the optical drive and see if we have any better results with this little transparent mod thing. Okay, so looks like these little black tabs are down here. There's four or five of them are preventing it from going down. And I guess that's on. No, it feels a little loose at the front. There we go. Nope, still 
kind of a big gap. Oh, there we go. You kind of have to pull it out to make sure it clears. It looks, it's like slightly, like a tiny, tiny bit smaller than it should be. There we go. I guess that's nearly done. I don't know. Hmm. Let's pull it back off and put it back on. See what if I can. Hmm. Well, it likes being on like that. I'll just leave it for now. Let's test the. Uh, Let's test the power and see if that disc spins better at all. All right, hold on one sec, let me get the power. Hopefully my power reaches. I have to put it in a new spot because I'm filming in a different spot, but yeah, it should be fine. All right. Here, I'll have to tilt it up so we can see the power come on. Cool, you can see the little LEDs in there, hard drives spinning up. CD-ROM looks like it's spinning as well. All right, let's eject it, see what that's like. Seems smooth. All right, big money, big money, no whammy. Wow, like butter. Some of the lasers all the way at the back of the disc. Perfectly quiet though. Let me go grab an Xbox disc, something that it's supposed to be able to read. Stand by. All right. So it is giving me the uh, amber and green lights because the video is not plugged in, but that is to be expected. Go ahead and try this game. See what, oh yeah, made that noise again. And the laser's just ticking away. Yeah, something's, up. The laser doesn't appear to be moving anywhere. And it's way outside of the range. It might be how I put it back together incorrectly or something. Either way, we'll troubleshoot that later. Um, this video was just about checking out the new case. Um, once I figure out how I'm going to take the badge off the other one, we'll uh, do a video on that as well. But until then, have a great day.